I wouldn't trade her for the world. Stacy McGill is a doctoral student in UK's Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering. Silhouette, a 12-year-old mare, is just one of several horses she owns. She raised Silhouette from birth and is now 12 years old. Silhouette is an inventing horse and is moving into show jumping. Stacy brought her here to Lakeside Arena in Frankfurt for an indoor workout. Lakeside is also one arena where Stacy is conducting her PhD research. So we're doing environmental monitoring, looking at temperature, relative humidity, air movement, amount of sunlight coming into the facilities, just to try and gain a better understanding of what's going on. Lakeside Arena, just outside Frankfurt, is one of a few indoor equine arenas in Kentucky. The 108,000 square foot arena has two show rings that are used for multi-purpose events year-round for different disciplines, breeds, and as a youth-oriented facility, hosting events for young riders. A lot of the ideas you see here I've uh, taken from other places I've been. So, Owner Bruce Brown fully uh, supports McGill's research. Anything I can learn to improve the exhibitors experience here and our methods of working the arena, hauling the manure, um, housing the horses and the ex exhibitors is always, you know, it's important. McGill along with UK Extension professors Bob Coleman, an equine specialist, and Morgan Hayes, who specializes in livestock indoor facilities, installed monitoring devices at Lakeside Arena that will measure light, moisture, dust, and relative humidity. The primary things we're measuring in here are airspeed. We have a sonic anemometer so we can measure airspeed from any direction, um, which is really nice in these arenas where we don't know exactly where air is going to come from. Sometimes there's doors and windows open, sometimes there's not, sometimes there's fans on, sometimes there's not. So this allows us um, to get horizontal air movement in any direction. Hayes and McGill both had an interest in doing equine research so they joined forces to work on this project. Coleman hopes the research will set the standard for building indoor arenas. At the end of the day, my hope is some really good direction for people on um, what their fit footing needs to look like, how to improve or maintain, develop a proper environment in their arena. People spend lots of money building these facilities, and we want it to be something that lasts for decades. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.